I am Abir and uh, today I will be talking about my journey with APIs and Postman and then we are going to talk about what is digital footprint and how you can build your digital footprint and then uh, the most important topic uh, for the today's session will be like conversing your technical skills and finally we are going to talk about open source at the rate Postman so uh, I think you all are excited so let's get started so uh, I started exploring uh, the world of APIs in 2019 and I got involved in various student programs out there. there can be fellowships and various student programs, ambassador programs, and which helped me to learn about uh, the more about APIs and designing APIs. So we are going to start like then after that I started using Postman and connected with Postman Discourse, where I got to uh, met some awesome software engineers who are building Postman right from the scratch. There I got to talk to them and grow up my network. And after that, I got to know about Postman Student Expert Certification. At that time, uh, it was in a Discord a discourse uh, thread. And right now, we have a particular uh, a dedicated page for it, for the student programs at Postman. And then uh, afterwards, that I I was really fascinated with APIs. So actually, I just went up and uh, talked to my uh, seniors. And we organized an API Hacks Hackathon at our university. And uh, yes, yeah, so season two will be coming up in the October 2021. And we are, the participants were really like they are uh, upskilled themselves uh, to a huge stage, and uh, like it was really catalyzing their journey. Some of them are now what WTF scholar backed by Google, so it was really amazing to organize API hacks uh, last year. And now uh, again, this is like uh, the journey started uh, being active in the API community that Postman student Discord to, to help me to get uh, my talk at Carnegie Mellon University and Georgia Tech. And it was the event was uh, like sponsored by Facebook Research and Google Brain. So I was really, uh, it was really a helpful session and it helped me to get up with the journey of APIs and level up the things for myself. And this journey is still going on. And with this journey, uh, I have a few things I've realized and few experiences that I'll, I'll be sharing with you, a few tips so that you can help yourself upscale and get the things done up. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, that I'll be covering is what is digital footprint? So uh, why you should care about it? So whatever you see on internet, whenever you're Googling up your name, it's what you leave behind to this enormous World Wide Web universe, right? So if you are doing some project back in 2010, uh, when you just started, it, it may be a, some school project. If, if you can just Google about it, you're going to see that it's still there. So it's just creating a uh, trace of yours, uh, of your work in this, uh, in this whole World Wide Web universe. So what happens uh, if you are able to leave a positive trace, then it will help you to even finding a right job and even collaborate with others, build good network, and also do some awesome stuff together. And who knows that you may get your first job through this uh, digital uh, footprint, through the digital footprint you have created. So uh, I, uh, like, I have the stats which just collected from Coval. So 63% of recruiters decided not to hire a candidate because of some fact they found on their social network. So this is like uh, you know this is a good uh, good percentage that we uh, recruiters also see uh, the, uh, candidates uh, digital footprint what he is doing or what she is doing and uh, based on that it also creates an impression so leaving a good positive like a positive trace in the digital world is very important so if you have started uh, like improving like if you have just started with the digital footprint up and uh, we, you just wanted to get in um, get started with it or you want to improve your so improve your digital footprint you can directly just uh, stay follow these two tips that staying active on the right channels if you are a student developer just be active on the github stack overflow linkedin and twitter and tech twitter is really amazing and you can actually build apis and uh, well, post it on Twitter and uh, let people use it. So this is how like you can you are going to stay active in the right channels and always whenever you are posting something, just think before what you are posting, right? what value it adds to your current profile. So this is the most important part. A uh, lot of students and developers uh, uh, al always get confused at what they should post. So they should first like actually see their current profile and based on that they should like if they if the post is adding a plus value to it, just head over it, uh, head over to it and just post it up. So this is about like uh, building the digital footprint and one of the most uh, important things uh, that uh, one should like uh, use like one should get started in building digital footprint is conversing like it having the technical sessions up. So this is uh, like the most important part of this uh, whole session the conversing the technical skills. So I'll share you one uh, recently uh, one experience happened as you know that the recent spike on Europe 2021 happening one of my mentors was a speaker over there. 
so he was uh, talking about his job he's talking about his new feature about python or like well he was working with his company so there he got to know like a recruiter from amazon reached out to him after his technical session at python europe so that was the, that was the impact that you create whenever you're delivering any technical session or it in your local community or it can be a global community so uh, i just want to uh, know let you know that if you are getting started with like conversing your technical skills you can actually follow this small guide if you're just getting started with it so let's uh, just learn, run up through this guide what is uh, i'm talking about over here so conversing is a collaborative process so first of all uh, this uh, this you should uh, feel it that whenever you are conversing with anyone it should be collaborative it cannot be like you're just delivering the session and not taking up the stuff or not seeing the view of the people those who are those are at audience so make sure that conversing is a collaborative process so in order to start the things you can actually form a group of five and choose a particular technical topic and a day probably it can be a weekend so you can actually uh, choose a day and suppose i'm working on react so i'll just do the day with uh, to sunday with react redux and i choose my group of five friends you can actually uh, find those group in the postman student community discord you'll be finding the link below and uh, where you are just going to like uh, take a try to deliver a session over there in that group particular focusing on that technical topic so you have five people in that group and you are just delivering a session and you're focusing on that particular technique in this process you are going to learn you are going to explore you're going to see a lot of things and this will actually help you to build the foundation and overcome the stage fear and it, if there are any problems like in you know, whenever you're talking or whenever you are giving a session you can actually overcome everything while giving uh, uh, this uh, a small group uh, talk or small group session so this can help you to like build the foundation for you after that you have realized that okay i am not having any stage fear or anything like that then it's time to level up so what you can do for leveling up get involved with the various student programs like we have at postman postman student community on discord and then reach out to the student leaders and community managers to know about the opportunities that where you can actually present your technical session or it can be a, a discord or stream too like uh, we do have a stream voice channel where you can actually stream up whatever you are doing or whatever you want to do so it, you can just use that too to just leverage the things up to just level up the things and just connect with the student leaders the community managers they can help you to get the right opportunity over there and then afterwards you have to just get ready with the technical session and present it well just prepare your mind that you are going to give this best shot and that's how you can actually converse your technical skills this is the best approach that i have found figured it out like with my experiences and journey uh, this is uh, this is the most uh, impacting thing that you can actually try it out uh, because first you are just impacting the group of five then you are trying to impact the whole community so this is how you are going to just level up the things so next thing that uh, we're talking about the open source at postman this is the most uh, amazing thing that you are going to uh, get to know about this thing that uh, postman's backbone is postman runtime and is completely open source so you can actually get, head over to the github.com slash postman labs slash postman hyphen runtime where you can actually get to and get involved with the postman architecture how it has been architectured and if you have uh, like worked with newman which is the cli version of postman cli is the command line interface you can directly just head over there and just try to like figure out how postman runtime is working yeah and after that uh, you can actually get involved with the technical community uh, because uh, the community.postman.com has a lot of software engineers technical managers over there whom you can just uh, Try to, try to create your digital footprint and then uh, get involved with the technical community and there are always coding challenges up there at postman student community discord so you can actually get up skill up yourself with the postman student community uh, like the coding challenges that it puts so that's all and uh, i'm really uh, happy to like uh, get you like i hope that you get to know all of these things and you're trying to surely going to give your next technical session and you can find the slides at the below link and uh, that's all for, thank you for attending